What is up my alphas? It's your boy Alpha Dog back here today for another video. Today we got a bit of an ARC story time. So recently I've been trying to find like an ARC server so we can do an ARC let's play. So we've been traveling around doing servers and seeing which one would best fit what I want. So as we're doing this we start up on a server that's got crazy boosted everything. <laughs> and I figured well this will be fun. So I thought it would be great for the videos, it would be really exciting, and you could just get stuff really fast, and even if we got raided, it wouldn't matter. So now, what happened is, <laughs> we were playing around for a little bit, and this lady attacked us. Just out of nowhere, just started attacking us right at the beginning of the game. And she kept one-shotting us, one shot after another. She took me, my brother, and a friend down, like, all in one. And then she threw my brother in a cage. <laughs> so my brother was over there just chilling in the cage, stuck forever. And me and Grizz kept trying to gang up on her, and she kept taking us out. So finally, we finally took her out. And then she had a cage on her. So we took her cage out of there. And then we put it down on the ground, and then we threw her into the cage. So, I mean, that was great. And then after that happened... <laughs> We left her in there, we went into game chat, and we said, okay, this is what you get for putting us in a cage and attacking us. So that went down, and then, like, 20 minutes later, after we're done messing with her, we completely forget about her. Some random guy joins our party and says, hey, why did you guys throw my wife in a cage? She threw a big old fit to her husband. She threw her controller and started crying because we put her in a cage. So apparently that was a really bad idea. And anyways, after that whole ordeal, we, <laughs> we said, okay, we're sorry. She attacked us first. It was all her fault. She started it. We put her in the cage and left her there because she tortured us. So anyways, after that whole horror ordeal happened, <laughs> we went back to like our normal, building our base, getting way high up, and it was going great. So, a little bit later, some guy asks us to ally them. And, okay, we're like, okay, this is kind of strange. So, me being the leader of our tribe, send one of my tribe mates over to one of the obelisks to ally them. And all of a sudden, he gets picked up and dropped off on a rock. And somehow, he heroically, like, takes off on his on the rock, uses a parachute, and gets away from the guy that's trying to trank him off his Quetzal. So it's absolutely insane. All of a sudden, we're like, okay, some guy's trying to raid us. And then a Spino shows up at our door. And we're like, okay, these are the guys. And he's like, don't run, we'll be nice, we're trying to ally. And we're like, okay, but our other tribe mate is getting, like, attacked by a Quetzal as he's trying to swim away in the water and everything. So this whole thing happens. <laughs> and then, all of a sudden, the Spino turns on us. And we got such high boosted skill, the Spino does absolutely nothing. But then after that, we decide, okay, they're going to try to raid us. And the server has offline protection, so when you leave the game, no one can attack you. So we left the game thinking that, oh, they can't attack us or anything. And according to them, the wife that we captured in that thing owned the server. So we messed with the admin's wife. Terrible idea. It was completely awful. We should have never done a thing. So after we log off, they go ahead and delete our base, because he's an admin. So he can just get rid of the base, no problem. So, I mean, that was kind of a waste. And then, we get back on, and we call him up, and we're like, Hey, this is stupid. You shouldn't have took away our base just because we locked up your wife in a cage. He's like, well, that's the rules. You can't do anything about it. You should have learned the rules before you join the server. And all this random stuff. And then, <laughs> we're like, okay. So we kind of just accept the fact that we got attacked. 
and all of our stuff got taken away. So then we decide, okay, so we're going to raid someone. So we start attacking this little guy's base, so we're going to try to like rebuild. So he's got all this metal and stuff, and they're on a boat. So we have, and we just start harassing them. We just start like taking them and they're following us so we can take all their stuff off their boat while they're not watching. And it's amazing. And then all of a sudden, they call the admins. They're like, admin, we're being trolled by high level people. And we're like, what the hell? So all of a sudden, the admin steps in. And he's trying to take us out one by one. But since we have such buff stats, he couldn't do anything to us. So we were just running around like chickens with their heads cut off, running away from this guy, attacking the people on the boat, which is just freaking amazing. And then all of a sudden he just started banning us because we had messaged in the chat. So he just started banning us one by one, me and then my brother and then Grizz. Grizz was the lucky one because he didn't message anything in chat. So they had no idea what his game type was, so they couldn't ban him. So they just started banning random people one at a time, constantly, just to see if they could get who kept inviting me and Peyton back to the game. Because we kept constantly joining just to harass the admins. And <laughs> every time we'd join, they'd kick us, and it was insane. So it was kind of ridiculous, because we had nothing to do, we couldn't do anything. Because the admins said, well, when someone's trying to raid you and you get off, your base gets deleted. Really Okay, so we actually accept the fact that we got robbed out of our base. And then all of a sudden, as we're trying to raid someone, we all get banned. Like, what the hell? We just get constantly banned, one after another. It is absolutely ridiculous. We can't do anything about it. So now we're just harassing people, having Grizz go in stealth mode with his insane stats. Taking out this guy's base, trolling these little guys. And finally, Grizz is like, F you admins in the chat. And they finally find out his gamer tag and they kick him from the game. So that is our whole story. That is our great commentary on how... <laughs> that's a great little story on how we encountered that art server. And how that is not how you should run your server. At all. Don't feed those bad arc admins that just go around trolling everyone and kicking them for not following the rules and then just being complete douches for the afterlife. It's not what you should do. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button down below. It'd be greatly appreciated. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And as always, peace out.